This is the final entry in the personal log of Admiral Aiken Bosch, Supreme Commander of the Neo-Terran Front. Our encounter with the Sheevans has vindicated all I have fought for these past 30 years. My life's work has been achieved. I have created the technology to enable communication between the Sheevans and the human race. Although our first contact was rudimentary and crude, I have initiated the first phase of a new alliance with the Destroyers, an alliance upon which the fate of humanity depends. As a young pilot, I battled against the rebels of the Great War, the Galactic Terran Intelligence, whose research of Shiva technology and biology would form the cornerstone of my project. The Terran Vesudan Alliance buried this knowledge, but I resurrected it. I alone realized our species had no future with the Vesudans. If we are to survive, our destiny must lie elsewhere. As I make this final entry, my crew is preparing to scuttle the Iceni and board the Shivan transports. We embark on a miraculous journey toward a new horizon. This tragic era of hatred and misunderstanding between our races is over. On this day, for the first time in my life, I am filled with joy. Very interesting. And do we have to skip? No. At 0345 hours, the GTBA Colossus destroyed the Shivan Juggernaut Sethonis near the Gamma Draconis Jump Node in Capella. This victory proves without a doubt our technological superiority over our great war nemesis. Sure. For the second time, the Alliance defeated a species which has annihilated entire civilizations across this galaxy. With the Colossus, we will have nothing more to fear. Except really big ships. We still have much to accomplish, however. The Sathanas inflicted moderate damage against the Colossus, though its systems remain 80% operational. Tan and the Sudan engineers anticipate it will take several months to fully repair the warship's hull. Until we completely secure the nebula, our evacuation of Capella's civilian population will proceed as planned. Good idea. With the immediate Sheevan threat neutralized, we must now focus on capturing Admiral Bosch. Recon units are scouring the nebula for any sign of his command ship. The Santec will need a task force assigned to recover the Iceni once its position has been determined. The command has disclosed new information concerning the MTF's secret agenda. Oh, it's nice to actually share the intelligence for once. We now know that Admiral Bosch has developed the Shivan communication technology that transmits and modulates quantum pulses. Bosch secretly resurrected a defunct GTI project involving captured Shivan specimen, terminated after the GTI's Hades Rebellion in 2335. Bosch referred to his project as ETAC. Short for Etam Nanki, the tower that may have inspired the story of Babel. Or Babel. Through a rigorous study of ancient archaeology, Bosch learned the location of the Nassos subspace device, the portal to the region of the galaxy where the ancients first encountered the Sheevans. This genocidal war was a smokescreen to cover his plunder of ancient sites in the Sudan systems. In Dinep, he learned how to activate the portal and deployed the Trinity to power up the device. Interesting. Integral to Bosch's vision of neo was an alliance with the Shivans upon their return to our systems. When Bosch realized his regime was on the brink of collapse, he ordered his forces into the nebula to make contact with the enemy. Interrogation of rebel prisoners reveals that only Bosch's immediate subordinates had access to the ETAC project. No 
Naturally. You are now authorized to use the GTW-19 Cersei. Derived from advanced EM weaponry, the Cersei disrupts shield systems by directing a barrage of fluctuating EM harmonics on the target. This energy is completely ineffective against armor plating or insulated subsystems. For this reason, the Cersei is best paired with a weapon such as the Maxim or the Prometheus, which inflict heavy hull damage. Trouble with that is that they don't fire at the same rate. If you ever played Freelancer, uh, you'll know that one thing you should always do when equipping weapons to your ship is to make sure they all have the same firing rate, or roughly similar. Otherwise, your target lead indicator will be a compromise between the two, and half your shots will go ahead of the target while the other half will behind. Uh, same thing with Free Space. You should always make sure that your weapons, if you're going to use them together, rather than switching constantly mid-combat, have the same projectile speed, and hopefully the same range. Anyway, uh, yeah, a bit too specialised. Stick with the meat and potatoes of the Prometheus and the Subark, or the Meku in this case. Reconnaissance has located the NTFIC. Bosch has made contact with the Shebans a second time, and the Israel class transport is currently docked with the vessel. A second transport appears to be waiting nearby. We do not know if the Shebans are boarding the Asini, or if Bosch and his followers are boarding the transports. Hmm. Our objective is to capture the Asini and the ETAC technology. Two Sheevan cruisers are guarding the vessel, the Asmodaj and the Sameo. Once the cruisers have been destroyed, we will deploy a special forces unit to board and secure the rebel command ship. Your second objective will be to defend our transport, the GVT. Understood. To our knowledge, the Asini holds the only example of the E-Tech technology in existence. Bosch took extraordinary measures to destroy all evidence of his research. If we fail, we have little hope of rebuilding the device. The man has absolute faith in your ability to succeed in this endeavor. I'm sure they do. Please review your objectives for this mission. Destroy the Samael, destroy the Asmodage, capture the Icini. Uh, I think it makes sense. Yeah, that's a bit light. Once again, all wingmates and turrets because they're the only... We well, can put them in Cephs as well. And trying out new fighter, we're going to be the Horse Interceptor. Another great war craft. Not quite as fragile as the Foth, but at the same time, uh, doesn't have four gun mounts to one, uh, which means it doesn't fire quite as fast. I'm going to take uh, meat and potatoes. What are those? Trebuchets, yeah, very useful at range against bombers, in fact. Uh, yeah, we can only carry five on this one, so I'm not sure it's worth it. Probably best just using uh, good old harpoons. Simple. Can't go wrong with them. Uh, wingmen don't use trebuchets as far as I'm aware, so... Probably best to uh, use hornets for you guys. Maybe, yep, some tornadoes in there as well. How are you equipped? Okay, uh, actually, let's get some more tornadoes on you. More tornadoes on you. Okay, let's do this. I have detected hostile fighters. Icini has not yet on sensor. The Azrael has undocked with the Icini. The vessel is preparing to engage its subspace drive. Firing over someone's shoulder. Not a good situation to be in.
These rebels are quite bossy, if you haven't noticed. So far. Cancer wing has arrived. We've got three Nahima bombers closing in. Intercept and destroy. Nahima's not a friendly thing to see. We have nullified Cancer Wing. Good. Come on, ships Alpha, protect my target. Got a lot of attention, Scorpio 2. Too close. There we go. Keb is 50 minutes away. <laughs> 50 minutes, 50 seconds. Okay. Astrofs. Oh, you, you guys are fast off the mark. Wingman actually being useful in this mission. Wow. Couldn't even get a shot in. Wasted a couple of missiles. Gonna save them for actually targets that won't be go down. Ships, uh base of one, depart. Okay, I'll go after the high seas one because apparently it doesn't have anyone targeting. Okay. Mycenae and Keb. 35 seconds. Yeah, that's a long 50 seconds, Keb. Okay. Now you feel like speeding up. Interesting. Okay, they're about to dock. It's not that hard. There we go. Seraphim. Getting away, getting away. All survivors are now on board the transport. We have the specifications. Undocking now. Cyclops. Gonna go for the basilisk first. Okay. Looks like all the seraphim are down. That's good. Right. Capricorn's coming back apparently. The Horus has thicker shields than the uh, Thoth, I think. So to bear in mind is also that shields on light fighters aren't that much less than those on heavy. It's the hull that's different. So, if you're quick and get away from each attack as a light fighter, hit and run, then um, you should be okay in terms of hull integrity. Just the hitting and running you have to get good at. <laughs> yeah. Get out of there, pilot. Stand clear of the ICD. 
Good. Cap's getting away and the Icenia is gone. We get out there with zero casualties. That's good. Interesting how Dashibans killed Mission everyone though. Pilots, you are authorized to return to base. I mean, why would they do that considering that they did take Bosch and his commanders? Uh, seems a bit unnecessary unless there's something else going on there that we don't know about. I am genuinely intrigued. I don't know the answer. The GDT can rescue the survivors of the Iceni and retrieve the specifications for Bosch's E-Tech device. Command has classified these materials, level Omega, accessible only by persons specially authorized by the GTBA Security Council. Be advised that divulging any information regarding this operation is punishable under the GTBA Security Act, Antares Convention, Section 1557. She arrived too late to stop the Azrael transport carrying Admiral Bosch and his immediate subordinates. Our questioning of the survivors reveals the encounter had been violent. The moment of the Shiva is currently determined, though it seems Bosch's experiment attracted their attention. The Collisons is now searching for the Shiva transport. Against overwhelming odds, you destroyed the Shiva cruisers, protected the Iceni, and escorted the transport safely home. It is indeed an honor to serve with a pilot of your caliber. That is not really overwhelming odds, in my opinion. Uh, I've seen worse odds in Free Space and in a mod. <laughs> Chasing Shadows, Silent Threat, that is overwhelming odds in terms of completing all the objectives, anyway. Good run, good run.